All right. So we've got a few things still to do. Um, got to get... Oh, that's pretty decent. I've got to fill the soul chest so we can get the thunder punch. And I also want to unlock the... Um, what are they called, those... They're like monkey bombs, but they are like um, airstrike monkey bombs or something. I don't know what they're called. But uh, we'll try and get those as well, just because it gives us an objective. you got to have goals. We'll fill these soul chests first, though, which should be pretty easy with the ice stuff, as long as I don't do anything stupid. Just try not to get trapped by these zombies while well, they're getting sucked into the ice vortex. So good. Like literally this is the best stuff um, in terms of you know overall because it kills zombies at any round plus it has the most ammo. Let's get out of here. That one's full. Um, the wind stuff is the is the most powerful and the most useful um, in terms of what it does, but it doesn't have enough ammo in it, so it's good if you're playing in a regular game to have both, and then you can switch up when you run out of ammo in the wind stuff. So let's finish off the last few zombies for the round. And hopefully we can... Uh, Fill this soul chest in the next round. Round 20 for the win. I might go grab another Maxis drone as well. I don't really need to hit the dig piles too much at this point. But sometimes you do get a max ammo out of them. It's very, very rare. But uh, once you have the golden shovel, there is the possibility. Let's charge this up. And bam! I'm not sure exactly how many zombies it takes to fill the soul chest, but it feels like about 60 or so. I don't know what the exact number is, I've never tested it. But we should definitely fill it, at least by this round. Oh, there's a zombie blood, let's go on it. Oh, we filled it already? Okay, that, that felt like about, I don't know, 40, 40, something like 40 zombies. Not too sure. Let's have a look around. We gotta find that red dig. There it is. There. Yeah, we found one. We can get another perk. But what I might do, guys, is we might actually leave this because I'm gonna demonstrate to you a little trick that I've um, that I mentioned earlier in the game. So you can see that's where the red dig pole is, right? We're not gonna get it. Um, but I'm gonna come back to that. I'll show you that trick with the sim text, just so you know it does work. Um, Let's just be a little careful here. Let's try and get back to no man's land. So I should be able to get another perk, which is good. Once we get another zombie blood, which I can get um, at the end of the round using the ice stuff. Oh, there's one there. I don't even need it now. <laughs> Let's just finish off the rest of these zombies while we got this. I'll leave one zombie, one or two. How many we got left here? Still spawning in. Oh yeah, headshot. Hard scoping for days. All right, let's just thin them out a bit. We got the, we got the robots coming as well. But we do have the golden helmet. I just don't want the zombies to get crushed on me. Okay, I think, I think I've only got a couple left anyway. Let's wait for this robot to go through. So epic. Such a great design. What Treyarch. Um, alright, I'll show you guys this trick with the Semtex. So, if you know exactly where the dig pile is, right, 
chuck a Semtex on it, and there you go. You can see where the red dig pole is for when you get zombie blood. So say we hadn't known it was there, we could just go around all the spots in the map. I think there's like 16 of them or something. Um, and throw a Semtex at each spot until you find it. And that, that way you'll know for sure where to go when you get a zombie blood. That's a really good trick. But you do have to know exactly where the spots are. And uh, even I don't know or can't remember because I haven't played this map for a long time. I sort of roughly know where they all, all are, but there might be one or two that I haven't, that I don't remember, uh, especially down where the trenches are. There's a couple of spots there I don't know the exact location. So we're going to get another zombie blood here. And uh, let's go grab that. And we will go pick up that free perk slot. So yeah, I was just playing uh, a game with randoms and someone showed me that. It was really, really handy. You do pick up a lot of stuff by playing um, public matches sometimes um, from some of the better players. There's a lot of really good players out there um, that you can come across. Especially if they're still playing zombies, like after all this time. They're either people that have just gotten the game. Yeah, free perk slot. I might go get uh, Speed Cola. So the other thing is, after you've picked it up, uh, another red dig pile won't spawn until the next round. So there's no point searching further in the same round, if you know what I mean. Let's go through here. Um, yeah, we'll grab Speed Cola. It's not real crucial. Blood money. Blood money. It's not real crucial um, in this map, but the other the other perks we could get are fairly limited as well. There's like electric cherry um, that can be handy in certain circumstances, but it's definitely not super important. Uh, obviously, a lot of people would want to get their um, quick revive, but do so you guys know I don't use that? I do. I have have used it once or twice for specific reasons, but um, I don't usually like to use it. Let's kill these guys off. Die. So I think it's two hit kill now with the melee on this. I'll kill him over near the, uh, actually this soul chest we completed, didn't we? So I might take him up to where the church area is. And we'll kill them near the uh, stone tablet, because we've got to fill that with zombie souls, and you can only fill it by melee kills. That's going to be tricky, getting that. Um... Because we're at a fairly highish level now to get melee kills, but we'll eventually try and get that because it is pretty handy to have. It's a bit of a luxury item, but okay, we got the robot coming through. Oh, and we've got a Panzer sold out somewhere. Okay, let's keep moving. We'll go up this way. I think we have. Yeah, we've still got this soul chest to fill up. Should put a few souls into it. Let's just keep moving though, because we've got the Panzer Soul there coming. You can get blocked off here if you don't move through fairly quickly as well. Where is he? Let's go back this way. Oh, Max Ammo! Yeah! On a nuke. I'm not going to hit it though. Oh, we filled it and we've got Thunder Punch as a reward. So that's pretty groovy. Now, um. Alright. So at this point, 
Uh, I have to get the melee kills in the church. Oh, we've got to defend the generator now as well. So that's one of the ones down in the trenches. A little bit tricky. I don't know why I'm digging these still. I don't really need to at this point because I just got a max ammo. But hey, it's fun to see what you get sometimes. Got our needs. Okay, let's head down this way. Um, oh, they've destroyed that generator now. One of the good things about killing these dudes, um, these Templar generator dudes, is um, you do get a max ammo if you kill them while they're in the middle of destroying a generator. But you don't get the max ammo if you kill them between generators, unfortunately. Where'd the other ones go? Well, they're obviously a generator three. That guy must have been a straggler that I killed. Let's grab, get on the, uh, the tank. I don't know what kind of tank this is. It doesn't really have a turret or a gun or like a, a cannon or anything. Pretty weird. It's like, it's like a modified vehicle of some sort. It would have been good if they had a real tank. <laughs> you just blast the zombies with it. Okay, they're over there. Okay, they've deactivated that one as well. Where will they be heading next? Probably up. Hmm. Probably up to Jug. Insta-kill. Probably going to be tough to get back to that. Actually, they've already disabled Jug. So, they're at quick revive. Hmm. I mean, I could just let them deactivate everything. It wouldn't matter too much. I kind of like to have them spawning in though, because then you can get the max ammo off them. Oh, there's a max ammo. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So, they'll have to come all the way up now to the top generators, I think. Seem to be a lot of zombies in this round. Here we go. Take you out. It's kind of weird how that one is always, like, miles away from the other ones. Where are these guys going? Oh, they've got the secret shortcut? They must run up the um, tank track. I'd say they're going for uh, maybe stamina up. I can't remember if they've disabled that yet or not. They burn like roasted yep. So if I wait until they start attacking and then take them out, we'll get a max ammo. Which is pretty sweet. There we go. All right. Mr. Monkey, to try to do play.